Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm starting off this video by making a little collage. I collected some stuff from when we went to New York in my coach bag. If you know, you know guys, if you know. But I collected loads of stuff. Like we've got a little Polaroid, we've got tickets and stuff like this. I've done it before with some other trips, but I've just been to the pound shop Got myself some frames and a Pritt stick. I'm going to do some cutting and sticking with you because that's just fun, isn't it? Also, hello, welcome to a new video. I was going to include this in last week's video, but I just needed to reset. And yeah, excuse my disgusting nails. They have never looked so bad. I'm actually getting them done this week as well. So I'll bring you along. But first, let's cut and stick and go through all my memories from New York. Okay, so I got two frames for my, where are they? Here, these little posters that I got in New York. So this was like, it says the New Yorker and then this also the New York. I really wanted to get, I think I said in that vlog, the actual New Yorker magazine, but I think it's like on subscription, so you can't get it. But um, I wanna put these in there. And obviously you've seen our, little gallery wall up the stairs. So I think they will be cute. If not, I'm gonna put them probably in the office. Then I got like a bigger frame to kind of put all the little like memories in there. I am actually gonna frame a $1 bill just because <laughs> I'm such a fan girl of America. Um, but like I've got my like Ralph's coffee bits and oh my God, my battery's flashing. Let me change my battery and I'll come back. if this camera's recording. So we've just come back, we went out for a little roast. It's a little bit later now. Oh, here Jack is. I was, Hello, saying, I've got my hat here. I was saying in the last vlog how you were getting stuff ready for the bathroom. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that vlog I might actually leave to Jack because that weekend that you're gonna start the bathroom, I'm away. So Jack's gonna be full Jack cam on the vlog. <laughs> full Jack cam. Full Jack cam on the vlog. But I just wanted to show the little collage that I made. I think I did show you the clip, but. There you go, in the lighting. And then these here, and I think I'm gonna put them there. So yeah, cute. I've made my coffee this morning and then I am just about to jump on a meeting with my client, which is exciting because I'm really annoyed. They've got a photo shoot tomorrow in London. And I'm going to see another client tomorrow so I can't go to it and I'm like really gutted because um, it's going to be a really good photo shoot. But anyway, just setting up my keyboard because I haven't used it in a while and I need new batteries. So I'm going to sort that out. I was just watching, um, what's her name? Sophie Jane. Uh, she's like an Australian vlogger. Like I love her so much. And she was talking about how she does like a book club with her friends. And honestly, I just, I met my friends for a coffee yesterday in town. And we were saying how like, we're just really into reading. And I said to, I think I said to you in the last vlog, how I was reading after, and I'm like 10 chapters to the end. So I'm thinking I'm there's another book I'm gonna read and my friend's gonna let me borrow, what's it called? It's called, 
It's the one like Blake Lively, she's like shooting it as a movie now and it's, it ends with us, Colleen Hoover. Don't know if anyone's read that, but I always hear Colleen Hoover like as an author that people love. So I'm excited to jump into that because I was going to read the next after book. But actually, I feel like because I've seen the films, I want to read something that I've not seen the film for. So that's the plan. Uh, but first, let's have a meeting. I've been writing in my new diary. I'm going to go through now and write down like my list of things to do and like just clean up my desk a little bit. But yeah. Oh, yes, the keyboard's working. Okay, let's go. Hello. So I've literally been sat at my little setup all morning. I've been really, really productive. I'm going to put you there. I've been really, really productive, but I think I said in the last vlog, it's so hard for me to vlog, I feel, when I'm at home, because I'm literally just sat at my desk like this. I don't know how many, how anyone cares about watching that. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm actually going this evening to watch the Mean Girls movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited about it. So fetch. I have been seeing mixed reviews about the movie, but me and my friend Georgia, who I'm going with, I think we just feel like people don't realise it was a musical because the musical hasn't come out yet in the UK, like in the West End. It obviously was massive on Broadway, so I feel like... The Americans already get the vibe that it was the it's the musical movie, whereas I feel like maybe a lot of Brits who aren't fans of musical theatre don't know about it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. That's what we're thinking, but I'm pretty confident I'm going to love it regardless. I've listened to the soundtrack so many times um, when it was in Broadway, and I was really excited for it to come out in the West End, which I think it is in June. So I'll probably do a London vlog to go and watch that. But yeah, that's what I reckon. But I'm very excited to see it. So I will let you know uh, my thoughts on that. But what I was doing, I had a little quick break before my next meeting. I've got a call this afternoon. Um, I've had two calls today, my busy Monday. Mm. But, I put my food in the slow cooker. Living my housewife life. Um, basically, because I'm going out tonight, I thought I'd put a chilli in the slow cooker so that when Jack comes home... <sighs> so hot! Why did I do that? So yeah, that's why I have a ring on my finger. Just saying. Since coming back from New York, I have upped my coffee intake, shall I say? I usually only have or have had one coffee a day and if it was a bad day I'd have two coffees whereas now I just feel like I don't care I'm gonna have as many coffees as I want so I'm just switching maybe the third coffee today for a matcha so I've really upped my coffee but I haven't had a matcha in a while and green tea matcha is good for you I'm gonna have that also now we're from the fridge, let's put the light on. There we go. This is the oat milk. I've been trying to add normal milk back into my diet because I wasn't lactose intolerant before, but because I've switched out my milk, I feel like I've made myself lactose intolerant. Does that make sense? But actually, I've been reading a lot about oat milk and how bad it is for you um, because it contains rapeseed oil and that's really bad for you and like bloating and stuff. So this milk is oat milk and hemp and this doesn't have um rapeseed oil in it we're going with that today and i've been going with, i've been adding that to my sainsbury's list quite a lot so yeah i'm a fan guys i've literally I don't even know if you can see that but i've just put my matcha like in here oh <gasps> so smooth and gorgeous that oh wow I've just pulled up because I'm picking up my friend before we go to the cinema and she literally works around the corner. So, picking her up. We're very excited to go and watch Mean Girls. I've got a load of Mighty Fine in my pocket. Where is it? If you don't know what Mighty Fine is, you need to figure it out. 
this is 95. It's basically like crunchy bites, but they're like so much better than crunchy. Good. And my friend got me a really big box of it because I always buy it. And um, yeah, so I've ch stuffed that into my pocket. I might get an ice blast, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to get like a little cocktail before because the bar opposite the cinema do like two for one. So yeah, because we got the cinema tickets like really cheap on like a Vodafone two for one thing. We were like, let's get a cocktail. So that's the plan. Wow, this room is an absolute tip. I honestly do not know how anyone can say anything bad about this movie. It was amazing, <laughs> completely up my street. I know the songs from the musical and I've listened to them ever since it was a musical on Broadway. So sometimes I'm at that level where I've watched the film and I'm like, where are the songs? Like, I love it. I'm like that with Legally Blonde as well. So if you know, you know. Oh, I thought it was brilliant. I think Rene Rapp, oh, oh, Damien, Janice, like literally. And I'm sorry if no one else likes it. I think I'm gonna go and stalk all of the reviews. I know, I can't remember his name, but he does really good in-depth musical theatre reviews on YouTube. So I'm probably gonna watch his view. But for me, when you just want to feel good, like, I thought it was great. I loved it. So yeah, quickly give you my summary before I head to bed because it's 11 o'clock and I've got a really big meeting at work tomorrow. And I need to be there at eight o'clock. And it's like 40 minutes away from here. So yeah, I should go to bed. Right. So happy Wednesday. Again, I've been sat at my desk all day. I've not moved. I've not moved. I had my nails done last night. So cute. I've gone for this little hearts and it was Valentine's Day vibe. So yeah, I've actually got the, the puppy with me today. Here he is. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. <laughs> um, I'm not having the best day, I'll be honest with you. I... I'm feeling a little bit rough. I'm really excited to just chill tonight with Jack. We're gonna make pizzas and like do toppings on pizzas and stuff and sit and watch the traitors. Um, but yeah, I'm just not feeling 100%. I had a really, really busy day at work yesterday. I was in the office, but we had like two pitch meetings for new clients. So we were like running around everywhere. And it was just one of those days where, do you wanna come up here? boy um so yeah today's been a bit of like a desk day so yeah again I feel so silly when I have these days so I just don't know what to to film I finished the after book last night um I'll show you actually I'm so proud of myself for finishing the book I finished the whole thing this is it here I read the whole thing ah! when I saw my friend the other night to see Mean Girls she lent me this and I've heard some great things. Do you like the sound of this as well? And I'm gonna read it. <laughs> no. But anyway, she's given me the Colleen Hoover book, so I'm gonna read that um, next. So yeah, I'm really in my reading, my reading era. But yeah, two hours left. We could do this. Hello everyone, happy Friday. I think the last time I left the vlog was Jack and I were having a little like pizza night and that was Wednesday. So I didn't vlog yesterday, I was in the office. Another day at the desk, fun. I just feel like I sat at the desk all the time. Last week's vlog was a bit more exciting of the work week, but this week we've been sat at the desk. Um, actually I did end up going in the afternoon to a new coffee shop opening in Bournemouth, which was really cool. I'll leave some footage on the screen now. It was really nice and definitely what Bournemouth is missing, like a cute sit-in coffee shop. I picked up some socks this morning. Sorry, as you can tell as well, I've had a shower and washed my hair this morning. The chaos has begun, ready for the weekend. Bought some socks because 
I wanted them and also I struggle to get socks because my feet are a size two so I struggle to get socks that don't have the frills on the end because I look like a five-year-old so I found these on next and they're like the adult ones but kids so we're happy about that but I'm gonna get Jack to put these up for me tonight and I'm not sure where I want to put this one sorry my battery died so yeah i'm probably just going to sit back at my desk now i've got a meeting at 11 and I, it's only with my colleagues so i was like a bit conscious my hair's wet but i think i'm gonna go for a little walk this afternoon maybe go and get myself a coffee just because it is such a beautiful day um i think i've said so many times but my favorite kind of days are when it's really cold but there's a blue sky um so i think i'm gonna make myself go for a walk because i've not gone to the gym today mm. Hey guys, so I've actually come out for a little walk. I'm sat by the main road, so I think that there's people staring at me, but I've just picked up a um, juice and I'm gonna take it to the beach. Look at the blue sky, lovely. Mm -hmm. like cold but like not too cold really enjoyed it really enjoyed that sometimes it's just nice to just get out and not look at the screen and then the signal went so I wasn't actually listening to anything in my headphones so I just had my headphones in and sometimes I absolutely love just wearing my headphones the signal went but sometimes I just like having my headphones in so no one like speaks to me but to be fair the beach I went to is like really lovely and everyone says like good morning or good afternoon when I like walk the when they're like walking their dog or stuff so I just feel really fresh now and I had a beetroot juice I was gonna get another coffee and then I thought no health kick health kick anyway right gonna head home now start again for round two at the desk, but at least it's been separated and I started work at eight, so I get to finish at four today. And it's a Friday, so all good. Let's head home. As you can see, my hair has started to dry. I don't know what is going on with my hair at the moment. It's like springing at the back and then it's like really long at the front. It's giving like the ultimate <laughs> Karen vibes. I've been using oils and stuff to like help try and grow these like bits and I do think it's in better condition than it was but yeah it's just look at it the length is just what is going on. Come home to the most gorgeous parcel. I don't want to show you my address but it's from Head Plan and <gasps> I'm just so excited. Oh Jack's calling me hang on hello <laughs> i'm back sorry jack had called me because we had our bathroom delivered so hopefully i think next week he's gonna put it in next week yeah we had our bathroom delivered which i'm really excited about loads of x display stuff from like showroom places so he did really well getting some stuff but what I was gonna show you is I got a very exciting delivery from Head Plan. And I said last week, obviously I got my diary that I bought from Papier, which I've been using this week at work and I've really been enjoying it. And I'm, I'm guessing maybe off the back of that because I shared it online. Cute. It's time to show up for yourself every day. Oh my gosh, I love, oh my gosh. Have I had the whole, they've given me the whole range. <gasps> No! Oh my gosh! I can't. I actually can't. Oh my gosh! <gasps> right, I've got to take a photo. I thought they were just going to send me like a, a planner, not the whole freaking range. <gasps> Guys. Guys. Guys, I am so happy right now. Wow, 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 wee wow. 
Oh my giddy aunt, this is so special. I think I got, I think I got a bit distracted filming that then because I just thought that was so kind and so special. Yeah, I'm literally, I'm, I'm cooking a casserole. I don't know how it's going, I'm gonna be honest. It's in the kitchen. Um, I put it on really low. It's here. Smells good, but I don't know. I'm gonna just do a little bit more work and then log off for the evening. And it's the traitor's final tonight. So Jack and I are very, very excited. But I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea in the meantime.